Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to have a little questions and answer of uh, Windows 10 upgrade questions that people have asked me and uh, that of course I've probably been asking myself. So Windows 10 we know is July 29th and the first few questions that we have is um, how we're going to upgrade. Well, you know, everybody on Windows 8.1 and Windows 7, you've you should have a little uh, white Windows logo in your taskbar on the bottom right. When you click that, you get to a little form. And the first thing that people ask me is, why should I enter my email and reserve Windows if it's for you know an update? It's always going to be there in the first year. Um, that question, I had no idea at all why they wouldn't do that, except that um, I've read a few posts, including one from uh, Paul Tarot that is pretty close to Microsoft. And um, I've come to realize that the reason why Microsoft, first of all, puts that little Windows logo is a kind of hint to let you know that, well, hey, your machine seems to be um, upgradable to Windows 10, seems to be a version of Windows that we will want to upgrade. So it's kind of a thumbs up to say, well, your machine looks okay to upgrade for free. Um, but that said, some of you have sent a few messages telling me, hey, I don't have the Windows logo and I've got, from what I think, is an okay version to upgrade for free. That is a little something that's kind of scary for some of you because I must admit that if, you know, all my machines here um, three that run Windows 7 and two that run Windows 8.1 all got the little upgrade for free. But what if you don't have it? Will you have to go to maybe Microsoft's website and click a tool that's going to check if you can upgrade or not? Why is it not there? That's kind of uh, weird. But you know what? From what I see, most people have it. But wait a few weeks, maybe it's going to pop up sometime. And just be careful that it's not hidden behind uh, the, the hidden notifications. Uh, often you have a little arrow pointing up telling you that in the bottom right you've got hidden icons there. So uh, maybe it's hidden, so be careful to check that. Then we have the question of will I be able to just do a clean install, erase everything, and restart fresh? Uh, sort of. From what Microsoft says, you'll be able, you'll have to actually upgrade from your existing Windows version. So you'll have to go through an upgrade process. But that upgrade process will give you two choices. Keep everything and upgrade or erase everything and upgrade, which is a kind of a clean install, but for all of you um, purists like me, <laughs> it's not really a clean install if you upgrade from an old version. Most of the clean installs that we mean is, you know, you boot up from the install process and you, you know, you format the hard drive and reinstall. But Microsoft does say that that will be possible. But I think the, the reason why they want you to upgrade from your existing Windows is because from what Microsoft says, you'll have a product key with your Windows 10 that's going to be linked to your hardware. So it means that when you upgrade, they're going to keep a product key of Windows 10 linked to your computer. Starting from there, when they get the product key for your computer, they'll be able to ID or know that you are an official, um, you know, Windows 10 free upgrade guy or girl, and it's going to be okay. And apparently from there, you'll be able to create a bootable thumb drive to have a clean, fresh, clean install if you want of your Windows 10 operating system. And yes, if you have Windows 10 for free, and I have to say it again because even though I did a video on this 
everybody you know there's so many people saying no 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 after one year it's not free yes it's free it's free forever if you've got it free and uh, I got a message just before making this video no no they said it's 119 after a year yeah if you didn't get it for free you'll have to pay 119 after a year but if you got it for free it stays free on the same computer that you have you'll have it free always that is very clear and Microsoft made it very clear for the update process uh, it takes about an hour to an hour and a half depending on machines and depending on the operating system and um, so all that upgrade process will work and then you'll have the possibility to create a bootable uh, thumb drive in some way it's not very clear if Microsoft intends to uh, let us download maybe an image file or something like that they haven't been talking about that and I would think that maybe it's not in the plans to do so but rather to just upgrade machines and then have a way to uh, create a bootable thumb drive to do clean installs but not really a technically a, 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 an image file that you download because they're really scared of uh, you know pirated versions and last but not least we have pricing for those that don't have free upgrades or if you plan to upgrade after one year um, I think Microsoft doesn't understand very much the market today they still want to charge 119 for the home version 199 for the pro version um, come on Microsoft you should just give it free or at least really low low price you know like 1995 or something like that um, I don't understand why Microsoft still wants to sell my Windows at this price it's just incredible but once again if you've got it for free it stays free you won't pay anything after a year it stays free you got it all for all the time that it's gonna be supported so that's many many years if you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything that maybe you want to know about Windows 8 or any versions of Windows for the future, let us know and we'll be happy to help you.